page in English. So we're going to let the user uh, have the chance to select a language that they want to see. I'm going to utilize this space up here to do the language choices. Uh, so that means I'm going to have to edit my layout. And I'm going to post the links that will point to a controller and an action that will do the actual language switching. Um, so nothing too difficult at the layout level. I'm just going to create a set of links using the URL view helper. to stay within the same module so I'm only going to specify the controller and the controller I'm going to create is called language switch with an action called switch and English I am and language as the parameter. Now, uh, the difference here is that I am using parameters as a way to tell Zen Framework what the languages are. I've seen a number of developers and sites use different routes. So, for example, instead of having language English as I'm about to have they have the language as a part of the overall route so instead of having module controller act, um, action they have language module controller action uh, this has some advantages and disadvantages um, I'm going to stick with the language as a parameter So we'll do the same for all other languages. We want to be the same thing, just a matter of changing the parameter. I think that's the local name for Japanese, I'm not quite sure. Okay. So now I'm going to have the links available right up here that will allow me to switch the language manually. So uh, now I'm going to be busy creating the controller that does this for me. This controller is, is uh, going to be a part of the library module. So I am just calling it language switch controller.php, which will, of course, have a class named library, since I'm in a library module, language switch controller. And of course, it has to extend then controller action. And now because this is uh, just a switch in controller, it's not going to display any content, I'm going to disable the layout and the view renderer. I'm going to do that in the init function, which if you remember uh, runs just before the rest of the uh, control actions are executed and this part you may remember from some tutorials on the internet about um, Ajax request where you disable the layout and the view content 
in all situations where you do not want output to the user. So now I'm not going to have any layouts or view scripts processed. Now I'm going to create the switch action, which will do the actual language switching. Uh, I will do the language switching with the help of the session, so that whatever the user selects is going to hold until the browser is closed. So I'm going to need an instance of Zen session, which works based on namespaces. So it's like a name of a set of variables, if you will. I'm going to call this namespace Zeta tutorial. So my language variable that I'm going to set in the session is going to be a part of the Zen F tutorial namespace. This isn't clear yet, you will see it once I uh, pick up the variable back in a bootstrap. Okay, so so far I have created a session with a ZF tutorial namespace, and inside of this namespace I created a variable called language, which is of course a session variable and I took the parameter set in the language um, of the URI. Now once that's done I am going to redirect the request to library books list. Now of course you can redirect it anywhere you want uh, maybe even to the page where they came from, but I want to explicitly redirect them to the books list. Now, just to be clear, this is not a HTTP redirection, so it's not like the browser is going to reload when you call redirect. Remember that this kind of redirect is an internal Zen framework redirect, so all it does is it switches to a different controller. It's not an actual uh, browser redirect, it's just a uh, yeah, then trim your controller redirect. See, you're not going to see the page load or anything. I'm just going to go inside of the books list controller again. Okay, so now that we got the session set, we're going to pick up the variable from the session in back in our bootstrap file. But we have our browser detection here. So to be able to decide whether we want to use the browser detection or the user selection, we're going to test whether the language variable exists in our session. So once again, uh, we have to create a session variable pointing to our namespace so we can pick up the variable that we set earlier. So this is open in the Zeta tutorial session namespace, so we can access it. And I am then going to test whether the language is set in our session. So all I'm doing is basically checking whether the user has set the language variable or not. Uh, if the user has indeed set the language manually, I am then changing the requested language variable to whatever the user has selected. And of course, not only do I change the language, but I also change the locale. Otherwise, if there is no user selection, I am going to make a language whatever the browser is.